art means a lot to me. Not only like uh, business-wise, but as well uh, personal-wise. Um, flowers became my passion. Flowers give me a certain energy. So I became a flower. I can't imagine living without flowers. It's like I would miss them very hard. Working with flowers give me a certain energy that I can move on. They give me the certain, they give me that, that boost, that drive to move on and in the journey of, of my life. Also, I can express my creativity through my, through my flowers. I can't imagine my life without flowers. When I, the first time I saw the temple, I was uh, uh, pretty amazed by the temple. Uh, for sure, of course, about the, uh, the construction and the history. If we're going to do a decoration over here, well, the word heritage has to be on the list. That should be a keyword as well. Of course, it's springtime, so we're going to show something in the way of springtime. And we're going to work with the students, so it should be like a joy for the students, like a happiness to learn and to experience uh, an event. So those three words together, that was like the three keywords to set up an event like this. Like the Asian culture, I respect the building. You can see that I'm gonna like work with the parallel of the temple, the columns. You can see I can I work with like bamboos, so we don't have them in Asia. But the other hand, you're gonna see the very like the panels on the back, very decorative. You will see the high ceiling. You you see the the high arrangements on the table, which is not very Asian. So it's more like blending everything to to each other to create a certain mood. A European mood, but with respect for the Asian culture. So what I actually, what I, what I do is like I blend design-wise, Asia and Western together. Also, like technical-wise, we use techniques that are used in the Asian, but also definitely in the Western. For flowers, it's really it's a strong language. Everybody understands the language of flowers, and it's a universal language. So I feel very, very like um, honored and privileged to work to speak the language of flowers. If you ask about my philosophy, it's more like I want to share the beauty of nature. Well, the first, nature is beautiful, but if you can look carefully to nature, you will see actually the inner beauty of nature. Because we're all part of nature. So the more beauty we will see in nature, the more beauty we will create in the world. If you see different flowers, you get also different expressions. Expressions, so it's more about how you're going to work them and how you're going to use them as an emotion value to your arrangement. Although they had their difficulties, they had their challenges, but still they really wanted to finish it in time. They were eager to learn, they're like sponges. So as a teacher, uh, it is, the satisfaction is, is big. After all, after everything was finished, I saw the people smiling, I saw how proud they were, what they did, so that gives us uh, a big satisfaction. Also, what we do is like, we level up the floor industry worldwide. So the flowers are more in focus, the beauty of flowers are more in focus, and people start to realize that the floral business is not only to put some flowers together, it's a métier, it's really something that you have to learn. The better you know, the better you can commu communicate. We gave them, we stretched their mind about flowers, about the metier, about the profession. And that is, for me, a good thank you very much, Thomas, teacher. <laughs>